Are you wondering if you should pay your credit card back in full? Or are you wondering if, should I maintain a balance on my credit card? If you have any of those questions, then you've clicked on the right video. If you're already a subscriber, then welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Just Sanford and you are now watching Just Money, where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably gonna wanna consider subscribing. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a question that one of the viewers asked. Here's the question. I am DC Khalil asks, should I leave a balance or pay in full every month? Well, that's a great question. There's generally no benefit to carrying a balance when it comes to your credit score. There's definitely different case scenarios where it can be okay to carry a balance, but the credit bureau suggests to keep a credit utilization of 30% max if you're going to carry a balance. Some experts suggest to keep your credit utilization lower than that though, like 10% instead. 30% does seem to be the average though, so if you have a credit limit of about $1,000 for example, 30% would mean you can keep a balance on your credit card of up to $300. That would be 30% of $1,000. But here's what you need to keep in mind. If you constantly keep a balance on your car, then you're going to look like a risky borrower from a lender's point of view. Keeping a balance every month shows lenders that you cannot pay off your debt. Although the theory of keeping a balance sounds like it would make sense, in reality, that only benefits the credit card company because they are charging you interest every month. But do keep in mind, if you don't use your credit card for a long period of time, the credit card company will either cancel or close your credit card. And I know that for a fact because it's personally happened to me before where I didn't use one of my Best Buy credit cards for months and months and months, probably like over a year and they canceled my card and I lost all that credit history and my credit dropped. I have a few credit cards that I don't really need to use, but as of now, I just use them like every now and then. And I pay them off before the utilization gets reported. This way they can still stay active and won't get closed by the credit card company. If you have the means to, try and pay off your guys' credit cards off in full and see how much your credit increases. Once your credit score increases, request a credit limit increase on the cards that offer a soft pool for credit line increases. For example, if you request a credit limit increase on one of your credit cards that has a thousand dollar limit, if you have no balance on that card then they may raise it to three thousand dollars and with that new three thousand dollar limit now you will be able to spend all the way up to nine hundred dollars while keeping a thirty percent utilization ratio i hope that made sense ask any question you guys may have in the comments down below and maybe i'll make a video on it answering you guys' question next but i hope i answered your question and i hope that you consider subscribing if you haven't yet already i really don't want to make this video too long so i hope you guys found this information helpful and if you guys haven't already if you guys can hit the like button for me i would truly appreciate that because these videos do take a long time for me to make so if you guys want to help support the channel i would would truly appreciate that. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, we are at 12,647 subscribers at the time of this recording. So I do appreciate all who watch and do post every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you guys haven't yet, hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time I post a video. But this is your one-stop shop. If you guys want to learn more about personal and business credit, real estate, loans, or any other financial related topics, then I would definitely consider subscribing. We talk about how to get high limits on your credit cards, business credit cards such as Chase, Navy Federal, American Express, etc. So so if that's something you want to learn more about, then I would definitely consider subscribing. And also for those that don't know, I am also a licensed real estate agent, a realtor here in Southern California. So if you're looking to buy or sell or have any questions in regards to real estate, I can help you out with that. All my information will be in the description below. I am also a licensed mortgage loan originator. So if you need funding for a home, then I can help you out with that as well. Again, all my information in the description below. And again, don't forget to hit the like button. I go by the name of Ish Sanford. Thank you for watching. And also if you guys would like to buy me a coffee, you can now do so using the super thanks heart button down below, which allows you to send me a tip. I go by the name of Fish Sanford and I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.